We all wished that our four friends would live forever, did not we? Perhaps we lose them all at a certain stage due to the mistakes that shorten your dog's life. It is unfortunate that even after loving them so much, we accidentally make mistakes that can be very fatal. We must stop these dangerous habits in order to save them and give them the longer lives. The following 20 mistakes that shorten your dog's life are shown in this video. But before we begin, do not forget to hit the like and share buttons and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Number 1. Excess Weight Gain One of the most frequent errors made by the dog owners is failing to maintain a healthy weight for their pets. The research from the University of California found that the overweight dogs have a higher risk of developing a number of major health issues, such as osteoarthritis and diabetes mellitus. In addition to these issues, the bulkier dogs have more difficulty moving about than the lighter counterparts. It could therefore be fatal if your dog ever needs to defend himself against an intruder. Owners may find it particularly challenging to lose weight while working with their dogs if they're unaware of the weight or where they stand on the scale. Keep your dog at the proper weight with the help of dog foods like the Royal Canine Weight Management. Number 2. Separation Anxiety your dog's life will be cut short if you keep them in a large dog kennel, ignore them, or forbid them from interacting with other dogs. Dogs naturally crave interaction with other dogs and people, so leaving them all alone all day while you're at work causes them to feel lonely, melancholy, and bored. Due to excess separation anxiety, dogs suffer brutally. This is one of the common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. You must keep them with you as much as possible. This will keep them mentally happy and healthy. Number 3. Frequent Exercise The most crucial aspect of a dog's regimen is exercise. Yes, it is also the simplest to overlook. Dogs exercise every day to maintain their health and happiness and much like people and other animals do. For your dog, what does exercise mean? Well. It can range from easily activities like the strolls around the block or rooms in the park, or you to make more difficult like the agility training where they pick up the trainings and complete with one another. While engaging your dog in training exercises, your dog needs a training collar. Some dogs are highly active and require the continual stimulation, but others are more relaxed and like spending a few hours each day at home by themselves. Your pet's personality will determine the type of exercise you give him, but keep in mind that all the dogs become bored fast if they don't get enough exercise. Number 4. Regular Vet Checkups Did you know that taking your dog to the vet for regular checkups can actually extend his life, even though you undoubtedly know when to do so? According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, dogs should visit the vets at least once in 6 months. Although this may seem excessive to you, there are a number of reasons why it is crucial to do so, including learning about new medications and immunizations, and spotting any signs early on for more efficient treatment. Additionally, visiting the vets keep your animal companion healthy and prolongs its lifespan. Moving on to number 5. Sweet Treats Using snacks as a meal replacement can lead to overeating and weight gain, which can result in conditions like diabetes and arthritis. Too many goodies can encourage the undesirable behavior in the dogs, and however, if he receives a treat, even time he behaves like a proper manner. It may eventually become expected. He can start expecting to jump up on people or bark at other animals when there are no treats around. Owners frequently find it difficult to control these kinds of behavior. This is hence one of the very well-known common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. Some snacks like the milk bone dog treats are beneficial for your health. Number 6. Ignoring the symptoms and signs of diseases 
learning to observe your dog's behavior and physical symptoms in the first step. When you see something weird, if they start acting differently, the next step is to have them examined by a vet. No matter how long you wait, ignoring the sickness, symptoms or indicators won't make them go away on their own. Understanding what vets do for us when we see them is a third stage. Establish the diagnosis based on the symptoms and signals shown by our pets. So how can we expect our dogs to do better if we don't take them in the checkups? The vets are magicians, but they require our input to make a precise diagnosis. Moving on to number 7. Not providing the correct food. Given that our omnivorous, dogs require a balanced diet such as the hill science diet which includes the meat, the vegetables and fruits. A diet low in fat and high in protein is also advised for them. Dogs should consume the kibble or canned food that is supplemented with vitamins and minerals and contains the following. Calcium that promotes healthy bones. For healthy bone cells, the iron. Taurin to maintain heart health. Zinc for female reproduction. Selenium to support the thyroid health. And niacin for generating energy. Moving on to number 8. Bad dental hygiene. While there are many health issues, the poor dental care can contribute to your dog. It's one of the most manageable and avoidable. Excessive gum bleeding is the most evident indicator that your dog has bad teeth and make an appointment with the vet if for examination if you detect gums that are bright red or stained with blood. Other indications include greater than usual drooling, having persistently bad breath over time, difficulty biting toys or hard meals. Number 9. Allowing the canines to engage in fights. Your dogs will probably get wounded if you allow it to get into fights. By being bitten by another animal, your dog could get diseases like the rabies or the tetanus. A stranger's animal can become out of control if it has serious bite wound and ends up biting your dog. If the other animal has rabies, to begin with, it can also result in rabies. Pet owners need to understand that the canine destruction does not resemble that of the humans. When taking your puppy outside, put them on a tight leash or in a dog harness to protect them. Additionally, make sure that they are kept within at night when wild creatures prowl the areas in search of food. Moving on to number 10. Improper Hygiene Maintaining your dog's cleanliness is one of the most crucial things you can do to keep it happy and healthy. Here are some brief pointers. Regularly give your dog a bath. It's vital to bath them at least once a month, but if they spend a lot of time outside or get dirty easily, they might require more bathing. Additionally, if your dog interacts with other dogs on the streets, apply dog flea shampoo. Pet parents skip this and it is one of the common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. We recommend that washing your dog no more than once a week is essential when the dogs are bathed too frequently because it causes the skin irritations, especially if the skin isn't dried well or harsh soaps are used. Remember to always use a dog shampoo. To prevent harm to dog's paws while trimming its nail, use professional dog nail clippers. Can you guess what's for number 11? Brushing and grooming their hair. Dog grooming refers to both the hygiene care and the cleaning of a dog, as well as a process by which a dog's physical appearance is enhanced for showing or other types of competition. Brush in the direction of the hair growth. Do not use too much pressure so that it hurts your dog's skin. Instead, apply firm strokes that will remove the dead hairs. Then use a shedding blade to grab the dead hairs all over the coat. The shedding blades are an excellent way to reduce the shedding and prevent the mats. Brush their coat frequently to prevent the dirt from collecting below the fur over time and if addressed, it will make them more vulnerable on a physical and mental level. Use a high quality dog brush to care for your dog's skin and fur. Can you guess what's for number 12? The answer is teaching them the basic commands. Given that he was raised in a family and has been around the people for his entire life, you might assume that your dog knows how to act properly. 
However, it goes beyond that. To be a good pet, your dog must be first taught some fundamental commands like the sit and stay. To avoid developing fear or aggression towards people or other dogs as child, he requires to socialize with both. Because of this, it's crucial that you set aside some time each day to train your pet to pay orders like sit, stay and come. Your pet will gather better knowledge of answering questions whether you ask them more frequently or if you use these techniques with them. Moving on to number 13. Trimming their nails. They frequently trim their nails and your pet may experience pain and discomfort if you let them last too long. Ask a professional for assistance on what should work best for you and your pet's need if you are unsure how frequently this should be done. The general recommendation is to cut a prox 2 mm away from the thick and if a dog has black or dark claws, it can be difficult or impossible to see the quick and this will make the nail trimming more difficult. For number 14 is the regular vaccinations. If you do not give your dog the necessary vaccinations, only because it stays indoors, you are doing it wrong. A dog may contract a disease and even when indoors through the contaminated saliva. Therefore, keeping the vaccination schedules can protect your dog from the illness that could be very fatal. Lyme, Pilepsistorius, and the rabies vaccine guard against the diseases spread by ticks and wild animals, while the Bordetella vaccine protects against the respiratory conditions like the kennel cough. Canine coronavirus vaccine to avoid the digestive problems including diarrhea and dehydration DHPP vaccine helps the guard against the common canine illness like the parovirus, hepatitis, distemper. Canine influenza vaccinations can lower your dog's chance of contracting the virus or lessen the severity if they do so. For number 15, we have using harmful products. Most common owners are frequently given that the dog's human goods like the toothpaste or the shampoo. They occasionally may also use the human medicines or the ointments and this is quite risky since the substance that is safe for you might be harmful to your dog. So even if they could be expensive, ensure that you spend on items designed specifically for the dogs. Additionally, be sure to only choose reliable, legitimate products that are secure and idle for your dog. And always check the expiration date and stay away from the products that have dangerous additives. Do you know what's number 16? is letting your dog roam freely. When your dog is unrestrained, it is more likely to suffer injuries from the additional threats such as the snake bites, traffic accidents and malicious people. Your pet will be in great danger if you leave your doors and windows open and let them roam freely. Vets are always prepared to support the acceptation because it may have an impact on your dog's longevity and promote a longer, healthier life. What if the flea in order to mate or visit with a friend? When they spot a butterfly or a bird, some dogs have the tendency to jump out of the window. It may result in critical harm or even death. This is one of the biggest common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. So while giving them complete freedom, exercise extreme caution. Now let's say number 17. Delaying, neutering or sparing. Spaying or neutering not only prevents pregnancy, but also promotes a longer and healthier life. Every heat cycle causes a female dog risk of developing uterine or mammary cancer. Similarly, powerful dogs are prone to have infections in the urinary tract and malignancies of the prostate and the testicles. Your dog's lifespan will most definitely be extended by spaying or neutering. They will remain fit and active for the rest of their lives thanks to it. Moving on to number 18, paying insufficient attention. If you already own a dog, you are aware of how much love and attention they require on a daily basis. Some people are more emotional than the others, whereas others are called the cat-like and require the seclusion. Your falling dog needs your affection, attention and enough time for shared activities like routine grooming regardless of the size or the age. Dogs naturally need to be socialized because they seek your attention and the best way to ensure your dog's behavior well is to provide the systematic training 
ample exercise and appropriate socializing. Number 19. Feeding them table food. Since not all dog treats are nourishing, feed your dog with most utmost caution. Similarly, not all human meals are bad for your dog. A number of foods that can harm your dog's health and possibly be lethal. Consequently, do not feed your dog any of the following foods. Common foods that we feed our dogs extremely dangerous for them. Like chocolates. Your dog should not be around chocolates. Damage to the kidneys and erratic bowels are both the results. Even chocolate can kill your dog. Can you believe that? Even a small amount of xylitol can result in seizures, low blood sugar, liver failure, and even death if not promptly addressed. Do not give your dog the chewing gum, the diet meals, candy, or other goods that contain the artificial sweetener like the xylitol, often known as birch sugar. Onions that may result in anemia. Grapes and raisins, both can result in renal failure. Last but not the least, number 20, lack of socialization. Your dog has your home, but he also needs to have some other company. Even your dog needs a good social life to keep you mentally engaged and interested, just like you do. Some owners like to keep them indoors only if it is among the common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. You can bring your dog to parks to socialize and play with other canines. Organized play dates with other dogs is another option and they remain content and unaffected by any psychological or behavioral problems thanks to socialization. For their physical, emotional and social development, dogs require socialization and human engagement. If not, they might be becoming restless, destructive and hostile. Don't forget to compliment your dog daily on what a nice boy he is. Hope you like this video on common mistakes that shorten your dog's life. Do let us know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this video and share this with your friends such that they can also be aware of their pet self. Until then, enjoy with your paw pal.